Hi guys, another series with our vlog for our Marine Corps Marathon training. Tonight we're at Jill and Marty's home. Um, once a month, uh, our group, our larger group, gets together for what we call the Sunset Run. And every year we also collect backpacks for local area school children. And Rob Vitro here is with the Backpack Lady Project. Yay! He's our guest tonight. So right now we're going to go out for our little jog, warm up, and then we'll come back for some social time, some eats, and we'll count up the backpacks and we'll let Rob tell you a little bit about his project on our next segment. We'll see you after the run. Great job! time tonight we went and we went for a run we collected school supplies and uh, we ate and we drank and now it's time to talk to Rob about something that's very special to him so um, Rob would you please tell us about what we're doing here yeah so in 2011 I lost my mom to uh, emphysema and MS 20-year battle and I was thinking of a way to remember her um, you know instead of flowers and stuff like that she was Old school Italian from South Philly, and uh, she was a little rough around the edges, so flowers just wasn't her thing. Well, I found out that she was secretly donating two backpacks every year for 12 years to Our Lady Lord's Church. She would just walk in and say, these are for the kids, and leave. Well, they nicknamed her the Backpack Lady. <clears throat> I, took, I put that blurb on Facebook, and at her service, 66 backpacks were around her coffin. 
So uh, you can imagine, it just snowballed from there. Um, last year we uh, collected 546 backpacks and I, I bring 10 per uh, elementary school throughout Pinellas County. I almost covered every school in Pinellas County last year. And this year my goal is just one more, but Julie Bajowski, our mayor of Dunedin, said we gotta do over 600. So probably gonna cover every school in Pinellas County. Awesome. Yes. Um, how many yes. have you collected so far? Have you got a count? Um, about, about 300. Awesome. About wow. 300. We're about halfway there? Yes, yes. And we, w we will hit the goal. I have a lot of other things going on. And I really appreciate uh, the tribe, mm -hmm. the uh, Tarpon Spring Fun Group. Yes. You guys have a bunch yeah, of Yeah, Rob's over, <laughs> yeah, right. Rob's <laughs> over our local Dunedin Run Club. And this is how runners just cooperate together. Then, you know, we all have our little groups because of our geographic location. But we all try to come together and help the community out as much as we can and help for our fellow runners out. It's, it's not all about the run. It's about being a community of runners. Yes. Mm -hmm. So anyway, thanks for doing this and thanks for letting us participate in this great project. I know it has touched me and my heart and thank you so much for doing this and sticking with it. It's a ton of work yes. and uh, so everybody in the community really appreciates it. No, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Yeah. And we'll, we'll put a link in. Um, a link on it about how they can donate through Amazon if they want to. Yes. Yes. So we will put a link below if you would like to donate to the Backpack Lady Project. Uh, just check out below. We will have a link, and it'll be the only thing that's listed under our under this blog. So you can donate any time of year, Rob. So all, somebody all sees year this, uh, just go to uh, the Backpack Lady Project on Facebook. There's a donate button, but there's also a bunch of links you can order through Amazon. You could just ship it straight to my office, or if you're local, I'll come pick it up. So. Thank you, Rob. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Bye.